Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. We have basically, well, we have some active contracts. We've got this Drez contract. This one's already underway. Um, we need to set up a new orbital station around Dune that has way too much stuff. Um, but maybe we should? Let's see what's going on here. Maybe what we should do is like... We really need to go to Jewel, but they're not giving us any Jewel contracts, so maybe we'll just have to send a Kerbal out to Jewel. We also don't have, well, but Jewel's not quite in the right place right now. Eve is gonna be in a good location soon. Um, we should take a look at what the Eve uh, science situation is. Oh, let's, I guess I should take a look at Drez. What, where is Drez? Drez is totally not in the right place, though eventually we'll come around. Um, I don't think we've actually sent a Kerbal over to the EVE system, so I think we're gonna start off with that. But the question is, what is our uh, method of doing that? Now, we really do need better comms, but uh, this isn't gonna give us better comms. So better comms can only come about by 550 science. So basically, if we want to send anything out to Jewel, we're gonna need to send a Kerbal. Um... Yep, basically that's the idea. Now, we I, I, I sort of want to do space planes though, <laughs> so... Hmm... How bad of an idea would it be to try and take a space plane, refuel it in orbit, and then send it? We'll need a docking port though. We don't need this. We already know this can get into orbit. We'll just need to refuel it in orbit and then send it over to even all, and then we'll be going in style, right? Or it could be an utter disaster, I don't know. Hmm. Well, we should have some experiments in the bay and such. I sort of don't want to carry that whole thing along with us. It'd be better just to have a Clampatron Jr. to get the fuel through. So we'll just have an extra... We probably... Do we need RCS on here? I mean, the refueling vessel will have to do the docking. It's completely unnecessary to bring all this stuff to EVE, but it'll be amusing. And reusable! Reusable. We'll have to make the refueler reusable too. That's a separate thing. So how much fuel do we need? We need two of those. We don't need the liquid fuel refueled. Um, three of these sizes. Well, that's quite a lot. It's one of these plus one of these. We probably want some sort of thrusters on this still. And parachutes. We need parachutes. We don't need a whole lot of a blader. We'll just assume the full mob propellant mass. Five tons. That sounds like three parachutes will do. But three is an awkward number, so we'll put four. Now, it's gonna take some doing to get it into orbit. I have really big engines. And if I'm gonna put big engines, I want it back. We're gonna try and return this thing. So, we need, um... We need a controller, a service base sort of thing. We'll put it at the bottom. Oh. Oh, we have a mass limit. Maybe it doesn't have to be that big. Let me see. No, it's a 140 ton limit. That's a pad limit. We'd have to upgrade the pad. Maybe it'd be best to have this fuel tank. These radially attach. Uh, for... Trying to be honest, we'll, as I clip these halfway in, I'll dump half their fuel. Oh, that puts us over. Hmm, that's not enough Delta V. This looks good, though. I mean, well, it looks sort of early NASA. Totally see this working for us. 
but we probably need, if we're gonna get this payload up to orbit, this payload is 24 tons, and we still want to reuse this bit, we're probably going to want to increase the pad size. I think that's probably a good idea. Alright, we're gonna call this refueler. Um, now what kind of TWR did we have on this? 2.06. So we need, I mean, if we're gonna have this arrangement, we're gonna need more fuel on. Um, sea level is 1.8. So yeah, we need more fuel on and then we can make it a reusable thing. So how much? 564,000 to increase the pad size. Well, let's just go for it. It looks like one of those little Joe things where they test the boost, uh, test the launch escape systems or something. Still need more? I mean, well, technically we could probably get into orbit with just that. Hmm. But I want margin. That's probably good. Uh, that's not C uh, this is C level. Okay. So that's 12 tons of engine and 13.5 uh, tons of tank plus this, this tank. Okay, 13.5 plus 12, 25.5 plus uh, is 18, 2.25. Mm, lots. Okay, it's lots. I think we'll put like 12 parachutes. Don't know if that'll be enough. Anyway, we need a controller on it. And we'll do the usual thing of having it heat shielded but at the bottom so that I don't have to use the service bay. And we'll have power. I'm not fond of using the robotics for making the landing legs. And the existing landing legs are too small really. I mean, we could probably extend them, but it's quite a bit of hassle. We'll see if this does fine or not. So, uh, 12 parachutes. Okay, but first, this is meant to refuel the space plane, so we need to get the space plane up first. Oh, I was supposed to send a scientist, not Bill. Gosh darn it. Can it climb faster? It could, but I don't want to diminish speed too much. And now I'm actually going to pitch down so that I can break the speed of sound. I was hoping this could get coaxed to 800 meters per second, personally, but... Come on. It's an interesting hue on the horizon. I don't remember that hue before. So now we're mostly interested in time to apoapsis, of course. I should have dumped them off. Oh, maybe I can transfer it over to the refueler. Alright, now it'll be good enough. Well, maybe we could go a little bit higher for the rendezvous. Okay, we got plenty of fuel left over. That's good. Alright, launch. Crashing is always good. You know you're learning something when you're crashing. Okay, um, I think uh, we should get the two bits into orbit separately. I'm probably too far away to just jump. Okay, so... Um, we are still pointing prograde. Okay. I want to bring this down close to the KSC, hopefully, to get my value back. Uh, we gotta worry about comms. This doesn't have a big antenna on it. I probably should ju just arm the parachutes ahead of time. Otherwise, we might lose communication at any given moment. That should be all of them. Yeah, I mean, basically the same idea. I'm moving the center of mass as low as possible. 
we did not end up close to uh, uh, but we were sort of in a lopsided orbit too. Let's see if the parachutes work. At least we're on the same side of the planet. Ooh, a little bit quick, but okay, they held. Okay. Seven meters per second. How many pieces does this guy end up as? I don't have communication for that. It, it, recover! Before it flops. It's 12 shoots, yeah. And those shoots cost money. We want those back too. Gotta hit that recover vessel key real quick <laughs> when you're splashing down. But it splashed down in one part. In one piece, 32,000 funds recovered, 73.8%. Yes, please, let's talk about SSTOs. Get that back down? Getting back down is a bonus. <laughs> Technically, single stage over doesn't include the back down part. I think I should have put a, another reaction wheel on here. This thing is pretty slow to turn, too. Okay, so... Um, should we be in a higher orbit? Let's see. Plane is... It's more in front than behind. Okay, at our periapsis, we'll drop our orbit down and try and catch up like that. The problem with planes is you're using jet engines and you can't get a good read on the Delta V. Rockets are much easier. Plane, basically, you have to have some experience. You have to try it out and have an idea how much jet fuel you need. Sphere of Influence does not mean gravity range. Sphere of Influence means where its gravity is dominant. And nobody on Earth has any Sphere of Influence at all. It's because Earth's gravity is dominant. I mean, you'd have to get pretty darn close to a person to have their gravity be the dominant force on you. Oh, learn a lot by watching my videos. Well, I mean, good. <laughs> on the bright side of things, I do show my mistakes, so I hope people learn from those. Problem is, this is tough to maneuver without the RCS. Sorry it's in the dark. I'm also worried about connection. This is so much more nimble than the other thing. Ah, uh, wait. What? No, first of all, never look at the sea level delta V. Make sure that in the VAB you're looking at vacuum. Oh, so... Your thrust to weight ratio probably on an SSTO is not going to be too high, so make sure it's like 1.4 ish or something. If you've only got 1058 meters per second, either you've got a vacuum engine instead of a sea level engine, or you're not making full use of it. Okay, so you need to put more fuel on. What's your thrust to weight ratio? Yeah, 2.59 is a lot. Put more fuel. If it turns out you don't get to 4,000, then you need different engines. More engines. More power. Uh, I'm worried that the antennae are gonna bump into the cargo bay doors. <laughs> uh, how bad is it gonna... I don't know. If I'm gonna lose communication if I retract these. Side boosters count as a stage, yeah. Well, at least half a stage, but generally a stage, yep. There's some debate exactly whether it's supposed to be half a stage or a stage, depends on the situation. But definitely not an SSTO in that case.
Yes, anything you drop means it's not... Oh, come on. Stop bumping. That was a number of boops. The RCS should be enough to deorbit this, hopefully. Uh, it's tight. Maybe I'll leave some. Alright, I'll leave that much fuel. Use didn't get imbalanced right. Okay. Um, I wanted to dump the mop pump from the cockpit since we don't have RCS thrusters there. Okay, now let's see if our refueling pod is in fact reusable. I'm just gonna do the parachutes right now. 0.25 was a little bit tight last time, and this is gonna be even more like a bullet, so... 2.3. Oh, maybe I should see if the RCS would be enough. One thousand science? Pods are very expensive, even at level one, so depends. Hmm. Eight meters per second. Okay, so we now have a full well not fully fueled, but fueled enough spacecraft in orbit. Let's transfer our space plane to EVE. This is not an economical idea. It's just a fun idea. I'm especially concerned. I think we're going to try and aerobrake it in EVE. Does anybody know what the airbrake altitude around EVE is? And whether this is a good idea, whether Jeb and Bill are going to die? Bluegill, you are trying to kill Jeb. That is a sin, you know. Like the... The Twelfth Commandment or something. How is this... Oh, we're not controlling from the right place, jeez. Okay, guys. No jokes. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh, especially if they are close to the truth, Mr. Doobie. That's a little bit too close. I don't know if you're joking or not. One of my vids? Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Duna 24k and Eve 70? Okay. See what happens. They get stuck on Eve. Hmm. We're not trying to land. Okay, let's let's be clear. We're not trying to land. <laughs> We're trying to capture around Eve without landing. This is important. What? You've never taken a space plane out to Eve before? We'd take it out to Duna, but we we aren't at the window. Suicide? Why is it suicide? There has to be an altitude where it's not suicide. We may not know what that altitude is, but... There just has to be an altitude where it's not suicide. I but I don't think we get any funding for rescuing crew. I, I, I don't know if there's a rescue the crew from the surface of EVE contract, actually. That would be nice. Well, not really. I don't want to do that. Your space plane exploded? Can you tell me the altitude that you used? <laughs> I mean, I guess we should check what the Delta V to capture around EVE would be. We want to get to Gilly though. So, you know. We can't waste a whole lot. That's too much. Anyway, we'll set it there for now. How much to actually capture? Wait, are we going around the right way? Uh, that's right. Okay. 
so it'd take, uh, though it's only 300 to capture. You know what? Maybe you guys are out of luck. Because if it's only got to take 300 meters per second to capture, I don't think we need to. We don't need to test it out. Uh-oh, Mikko has a suggestion, and Mikko's usually right. 75 to 80? Hmm. Maybe we'll just skim it. And get a little bit of benefit out of the... We'll go 80, maybe? I mean, we need to reserve fuel to get back, obviously. But 1,000 will be more than enough to get back. The problem is, our approach doesn't seem very conducive to actually meeting up with Gilly right now. So, let me readjust the mid-course adjustment. We need some way of meeting up with uh, Gilly, which means we want the ascending node or descending node to be out there, not on the sides here. I don't know if we can manage that. Mm. Yeah, more drag means that we would have to hit the atmosphere at a higher level than the capsule would. So, when it comes to... Actually, the number for the important number for an airplane and the important number for capturing around a planet is the same thing. Uh, that was not sensitive enough. Um, it's the mass divided by the surface area. Well, for a plane, because it needs to take off and everything, it has a much lower mass per surface area, or more surface area for the given mass. So it'll slow down faster. It Produces more drag. Uh, that looks like the ascending node would be at the periapsis. Of course, that's too close to the planet. Hopefully. <laughs> well, we might take it gentle because it doesn't look like the delta V requirements are too bad. Okay, so there we have a descending node that can actually touch Gilly's orbit. Everything else is a matter of just timing, so that's that's basically what we want there. Okay, so these guys uh, head out, and we need sunlight on the solar panels. Okay, uh, but is there going to be another transfer window? I don't want to miss an opportunity to send people over to Jewel this time. Hmm... We're over here. Well, that's definitely not... We're not gonna have a jewel encounter anytime soon. Let's go to the tracking station. Uh, we might end up with a Drez opportunity, but our dishes aren't very good for that right now. We could send a person over to... a Kerbal over to... well, Kerbals are people too. Um, over to Drez. Shall we do that? That will mitigate the need for communication. 